although we do have some vaccines to protect against, uh, you know, some strains of uh, meningitis, you know, it's still one of the biggest, bacterial meningitis is still one of the biggest killers of, of uh, young children in this country, uh, in particular, you know, meningococcal infection. And, you know, I've been involved for over 30 years now since I lost my own son, Spencer, he's 14 months old, from meningococcal meningitis and septicemia. And together with thousands of families, we've, um, we've worked so hard to create a better understanding of meningitis and also raise funds to um, develop a vaccine. You know, it's a devastating disease. It's not just families, it's whole communities that uh, are affected by meningitis. And, uh, you know, this vaccine has the potential to save thousands of lives. To find, the, you know, to have a vaccine available to prevent seven, over 70% of the most common form of bacterial meningitis, to me, that's the biggest breakthrough since the polio vaccine was introduced in the late 1950s. Well, we see um, in the region about 2,500 cases of all forms of bacterial meningitis in the UK. And, uh, you know, again, you know, meningococcal group B is the, you know, is the most common form of the disease. And, and to, to take out meningococcal group B, it, it's beyond our wildest dreams, to be honest. You know, compared to 30 years ago when the, there was no charities to represent meningitis, very little was being done, certainly on the research front. And to come all this way now and, um, you know, to have a, a good vaccine that, um, you know, it's, it's gone through the trials, it's a safe vaccine, and, you know, it's going to prevent over 70 cases of group B meningitis. As far as meningitis UK is concerned, um, the families that have been affected by the disease are the driving force behind everything we do. So all over the country, you know, although families have lost, you know, a loved one, you know, and their lives have been devastated, to hear this, you know, is, is so positive that, um, you know, their, their, loved, their loved one's names will, will live on. You know, with, with a with a vaccine that they that they've made a you know a significant contribution towards um, becoming available. Without families up and down the country, all, all over the last thirty years, uh, pouring their hearts out with their own uh, stories about how, how devastated they were, has raised the profile of meningitis, and you know, and that's that that has been. Uh, you know, a, a very big thing for the for meningitis to be recognised as a disease of na national importance. If it wasn't for the families, this vaccine will probably still be five, ten years away.